The return of President Michael Sata to Zambia from Israel remains unknown to government and Zambians at large. Government's stance on Mr. Sata's trip to Israel has raised speculations with many saying the head of state is in that country receiving medical treatment while government maintains that he is on a working holiday. Vice President Dr. Guy Scott has stated in Parliament that Mr. Sata's return may not be feasible for various reasons. Is he now agreeing that or confirming that the president is receiving treatment in Israel and, not, and that he is not on holiday as earlier stated? I'm merely telling you that, that I do not have the information and there's a perfectly good reason why I should not have the information. It's a holiday with some medical tourism put in, put in. Are you in a position to tell us today when the president is coming back? I don't know what investigations that the president is having, nor, whether, nor, nor how long they will take. And it's a confidential matter for him and his family. If he wants to tell me, he can tell me. But if he doesn't want to tell me, I can't give you the information because I don't... Meanwhile, other opposition parliamentarians expressed displeasure over the vice president's remarks to the BBC that a minority group from the south of the country is campaigning for a possible by-election. When you are being interviewed by the BBC, you disparaged and called a minority clique referring to the people of the southern province. Do you think, Your Honour the Vice President, is the correct way to answer a national question in that order? But the Vice President clarified to the House that he did not insult anyone when making that statement. Now, Mingandu, Movie TV News, in Lusaka.